dieting. It's a trend among kids and one you need to be aware of before they head back to the classroom. And as we catch up once again with our back to school family this year, we're also speaking with health experts about the warning signs for parents to look out for. Stephanie Robusto has a story all new this morning. Steph? Well, Brennan and Nikki, a fad diet can set your child up for lifelong medical issues, including serious digestive problems, depression, and even anxiety. People talk about how big they are, how skinny they is, because some people want to be want to have weight on them, and uh, bigger people just want to be skinny. But every size matters. The young ladies in the McCoy family have the right idea about having a positive body image, thanks in part to mom's reminder. I always speak positive into them. Yet many kids their age do fad diets, cutting out important nutrients for growing bodies. I don't allow them to diet around here, you know, because you're, cause you're still growing. It was this one boy, he didn't eat nothing all day. We see that those unhealthy relationships with food and the younger kids who want to do diets and kids who are not having family meals are at much higher risk of developing eating disorders as teenagers. She says it's good to have a conversation with your kids about what they are eating, especially if you notice warning signs they may be skipping a meal. Or not finishing certain um, types of food on their plate or um, maybe wanting to eat separately from them, not wanting to go out to dinner. More pediatricians are talking with younger kids about dangerous dieting. Reports show hospitalizations for eating disorders in children under the age of 12 are increasing. Not only, you know, being at school, having to face um, negative um, energy from other kids, but it follows you home now through social media. Too many teens focus on dieting and not on exercising. Health experts warn they may also mimic how you, as the parent, eat and talk. So avoid restricting necessary nutrients for a growing child and negative talk about your own body. How you look right now, you may not look in five years. So you're becoming, you're becoming a woman. And don't forget about your sons. While more girls suffer from eating disorders, health experts warn boys could battle with the same insecurities and dangerous diets. It's just not as addressed as often. The bottom line here, talk to your kids, build healthy relationships with food and physical activity. Live in the studio, Stephanie Robusto, News 10 NBC Today.